He intends for this recession to expose hidden sin and so bring us to repentance and cleansing. Biblical example, Job. The first verse of the book of Job says, There was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job. That man was blameless and upright, one who feared God and turned away from evil. So, he was a good man. In the last chapter, verse 6, chapter 42, verse 6, it says, Job says, I despise myself and repent in dust and ashes. So, what does that mean? He was a blameless man. Check him out, Satan. Job, I'm a wicked man. Covering myself with dust and ashes and repenting before the living God. What, what does that mean? It means this. The most pure, blameless, holy saint on the planet has a sediment of sin lying quietly at the bottom of his beaker. While we look at this clo clean, clear water called holiness, but you bump him, you just bump him, and it gets cloudy. And Job got bumped big time. And out of his mouth came some things he never should have said because they were there. And they're in you. And you know what brings them out? Recession. That's what brings them out. Me too. That's the way it works. That's the way recessions work. That's what they're for. 